Put him in the well, talk to demons. I see myself as a dragon kid. Freaky here is a Freemason. And oh, really? He's a I am a Bodhi's in. So, what do you this think about them? Like how they, you know, they denounce Christ at the thirty-third degree and all that other stuff. Personally, I believe yeah. that you know fr Freemasons are Satanists. You can believe that all you want. Baby Personally, kids. they actually okay. uh, work the novel. And uh, hey, matter hey, of fact, hey, United States. Uh, was actually, wait, 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 please, United, please, United, please, for the love. Hang on, hang on. Please, for the love please, of God, tell me you well, God is very important. I hope you guys have hey, him. And if yes, you don't, you better be. Yes, you. Yes. Hang on. Please, please tell me that you, someone who's clearly not initiated, is about to tell me what we're about. <laughs> tell you what you're about? Did I ever claim or anything that I was referring to you in particular? I just referred, and, and you, you'd, you'd actually cut me off when I was speaking. I was going to say that uh, the first seven presidents of the United States were actually openly Freemasons, right? Um, yeah, that's what our country's founded upon is Freemasonry. There's a Masonic lodge in every, primarily uh, every city and every state. Yeah. Um. So it's a it's a large open secret society. And I'd asked, what do you think about them denouncing Christ at the thirty third degree? We don't. You don't um, think? Well, that's actually, a problem. Actually, actually, hold on. Not uh, I don't think that guy. Well, he's not. He's well, not part of anything. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. 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 Um. Actually, in their books, they actually uh. And I, Announce Lucifer as their god. Uh, I can show you no. it's Albert Pike's thirty-third degree. Uh, You're referring to morals and dogma. Morals yeah, yeah. And dogma. Not, it's not just mor exactly. morals and dogma. Manly P. Hall's books. Uh, they they all refer yeah, to but... Lucifer as god at the thirty-third degree. Uh, so Wait. no, this is wrong. Okay, well, you, are you just going to blatantly yeah, deny this? This is a real thing. No, I'm not denying. Hang on. If you let me explain, if you okay. let me explain. Okay. Explain shit. Explain what? Freemasonry. Hang on. Freemasonry is a very oh, work this time. is a very open and unique system that allows. Uh, it's a secret it. society. It's not open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not open. You full of shit. Uh, I think you're. I think you're just lying hey, to everyone on. in this call. Thank you. No. Hey guys, on. L A R P. I think we know I you're lying it, now. Thank you, sir. Listen, like yeah, this if guy, this guy, I think he's important. Yeah. If, if if you're, I have a lot of, I have a lot of self-importance because I happen to have what's called the truth. If you're, the truth if is you're very wanting important. information, that's what I'm here to tell you guys about. The truth. Wait, if you're wanting information, you're not just wanting to hear yourself talk. Then you're actually yeah. somebody that's actually yeah, partaking in it. So, okay, so let's hear I his mean, rebuttal. If you'll let so, him talk, then maybe he can tell you. What is there to say? I actually told you. Hold on, hold on, guys. All right, so how about we other? actually get back to the claim instead of this woman just going on with the meta repetitively? Go uh, ahead. So let's, ask to so let's ask Toxic. So Toxic, uh, can you can you uh, address the claim, please? He already did. Oh, That's did. the thing. What was that last bit again? I had to reconnect for a second. Okay, so in every in Manly P. Hall's books and Albert Pike, uh, they both. Uh, Describe the god of masonry as Lucifer. So, uh, masonry at the higher ranks are satanic. So, can you address this claim? No. Yes, I can. Okay. Freemasonry is a very open and unique system to the individual that allows them to have their own experience with divinity. For them, they were Luciferian. So, that was their experience. It is not at all that that represents the whole. Every person of every faith is able to come in and replace the placeholder name we have, Grand Architect of the Universe, with their own personal god. For them, okay. it was... Okay, what degree are you? Doesn't matter. <laughs> you, won't, you won't tell us the degree? I will, I will, absolutely. So much for being open. Actually, I know I know yeah, the yeah. third degree, and his, his god is the Nordic god, and he would... He would not set well, up for probably it. below Anyone like the saying. fifth degree, I would assume. Uh, sure. I'm a third most degree. masons don't go past. Degree. Most masons don't go past the third degree anyway. I mean, it is a There's secret no society, and actually, mm -hmm. and actually, uh, they do. And and actually, you're wrong because they actually do keep secrets from each other. I can post the the quote right in the text in Albert Pike Morals and Dogma. I'll post it in the transmission text. Uh, they keep secrets at every degree. So this is a bl this is a blatant false claim, and you're lying right now. <laughs> no, that's because that guy is Zarpy. Very well back, Chris. He full of shit. Yeah, I know. Uh, this, okay, let me hold on. I'm obviously, Before... I'm obviously too low on the totem pole. Am I right? Well, I don't know what degree you are. Maybe you're okay. Because the thing is, let me explain with Masons, guys. So Freemasons have to all cover for each other. No matter what, if if they're in a Discord call and someone's blatantly calling them out right now, he has to lie. He's under oath right now. 
So it doesn't not, matter not, whether not to lie. absolutely hundred percent all Masons, no matter what degree, have to lie for each other. So they don't tell you what's no, going on at the higher ranks. Yes, you do. Okay, he's, he's still lying. <laughs> he's, he's still, still lying to us. I can read him like a you book. Show, you show him, full shit. I showed you, hold I'll on, I showed you right okay. from their books, okay. and I blatantly called you out, and I showed you exactly where in the book it says this. At <laughs> least he understands it. At, <laughs> you at least he so, there's, there's At no, least he does understand that it is a laughable moment. He is laughing no, himself. No, I, so. I, I, study, I study heavily in masonry, and you can't lie to my face. I know the truth, man. I'm sorry. Okay. You studied heavily in masonry. Okay. Explain okay. to me. Explain to me uh, what the three great lines are then. There's somebody with background noise. I, I cannot hear you. What? It's that guy with that mic. Turn your shit off. Cody. I said, I said explain to me what the... Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Give me a second. Sorry. You're fine. And Cheap ass Android mic. He's ready. Is he ready? Mm hmm. Okay. Explain to me, since you are so well versed, what are the three great lights? Uh, of, the f of the first degrees? The three great lights of Freemasonry, period. Uh, well, actually, fun fact. Uh, Anyone who doesn't understand uh, what light means in masonry, might, light basically means, uh, you know, the knowledge of the truth, right? So masons yeah. actually believe that they're enlightened, and the higher ranks, every rank that they go up, they receive more light. So they re receive more truth, right? And at the highest <laughs> ranks, you know, this is the funniest part, right? So at the 33rd degree, they reveal to you that that light you were seeking was the, was the light bearer, which is Lucifer, it's right Lucifer in their books. The bearer, but that's not Lucifer is right the light bearer, and that's what you were seeking the whole time. Every rank you go up, you get more light. It, it, it's embedded in masonry, bro. There's no such thing as ranks in Freemasonry. It's degrees. Degrees of education. Oh, okay. Are you, you going to try to offer oh. Okay, you can't lie to me. You can't lie to me. I'm sorry. It doesn't but work. You, I'm you not still lying. Didn't answer his question about what are the three lights if you know so much. What are the three? The three. They're, hang on. Well, there I don't think that would actually be provably of anything of his knowledge, right? Him not knowing one one fact about the something. Three in the are, you want to know the great so lights. many other facts? So. Are you talking about the Book of the Law, square and com and square and compasses, and the Bible? I am. Okay, so what's your point? The first great light, what is considered the greatest light in Freemasonry, is. Do you know the what the Book of the Mind. Law is? Dude, I'm finishing his thought. Hold on, hold on, hold on. this is going to be hilarious. Tell me what the Book of the Law. Oh, hold on, actually, hold on, hold on, guys. Give the me the Book of the Law. Is, okay, the Book of the Law. First of all, that's the lema, not Freemasonry. The Book of the oh, Law, actually, Libra out of the Legion, is Alistair. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So I you want you guys. He was a Mason, okay, before. He founded Thelema, uh, okay, but okay, after good. founding Thelema, and after founding the Argentium Astrum, which I also happen to be a member of, okay, you're not going to bullshit me on this one. AA and, Thel uh, and Freemasonry are not the same thing. Okay, okay. perfect. So, Al so Alistair Crowley, uh, you do agree that he was a Luciferian, and he was the one of the most no notorious Luciferians in the world, right? He was, he was actually bragging about how he used to sacrifice kids. He never actually sacrificed kids. You realize that, right? Uh, he that bragged crazy. about it, actually. Oh, so he's a liar. So there you yeah, go. He's he's bragging. Yeah, 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 lie, lie. Like I've called you on every single lie. All right, and actually, if you guys look this yeah. up right now, go on Google right now. Look up three great sites in the masonry. It's the Book of the Law, which is Aleister Crowley, the no. the blatant say. Yeah, look it up. It's oh. Aleister Crowley's Book of the Law, Square and Compasses, and the Bible. It's the, hang on, it's the volume of sacred law. That's great, not but that's not that's not what the sources say. <laughs> no, it's well. Why should we believe sources from a public platform over a secret society, as you put it? Uh, because at the I think at the lower ranks they have to reveal this to you. So lower ranks do know this stuff, and I can show you. I mean, I could post it right in the chat for you guys. It's actually right on their I'm website. I'm just asking you, like, if it's such a secret society it, as you call it, what, then why well, should we believe anything publicly? People don't do their research. That's the problem because their books all say this. I posted it right in the just, transmission text for you guys. 
It's just like with Mormonism. Yeah, you just know, like Mormonism. Yep, hundred hundred percent. Mormonism is involved. Anything that is truthful on the internet, because they have people who are scrubbing that kind of stuff. Not yet. It's actually you're right. It is it is kind of being scrubbed. It's not entirely scrubbed. You can still find it on the internet. I, I was talking specifically about Mormonism. But, Mormonism uh, is involved in masonry. They have all the same rituals. I know. Joseph Smith. Okay, no, we don't have all the same rituals. Not Joseph the exact Smith same. Based. Not the exact Joseph same. Smith, Joseph Smith based his rituals on Freemasonry because okay. he was a Mason and he took that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Wait, cool, hold on a second. He, he told, he told the truth yeah. once, guys. He told the truth once. Chris, are you flat earther or is that just like a provocative username? Oh, actually, I'm also the higher, flat earther. higher ranks of Masonry actually teach you that the earth is flat as well. Fun mm-hmm. fact. Oh, Jesus Christ. So I don't understand. Are you, are you a flat earther, though? Very I'm important. I'm curious. No Absolutely. I, I am 100% a flat earther. Well, let's actually, have a conversation, guys. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Did I ride a goat then? Do you think I rode a goat or some shit? Uh, there is a ritual that you do ride a goat. I don't, I don't remember what degree you have to do this, but yes. <laughs> You are very well versed on the Wikipedia page, but that's about it. I I can tell you that. I mean, like, (laughs) it's obvious that you'll just jump in to find something that you disagree with to argue about. And honestly, it's kind of disgusting, in my opinion. You're disgusting. What's what's the problem? I was willing to do things. The the problem is. I mean, we were just here, like. Bro, you just hook the fuck up. The, the problem that it seems that we're having right now is toxic femininity because you can't simply shut your mouth while somebody else is speaking. <laughs> Who the fuck do, do you, you think you are? Shut the fuck up. Are you up. fucking serious right now? You mean, you uh, mean, look, I'm sure who gave you permission to speak? Bitch. I'm showing you guys the exact same courtesy <laughs> that you're showing to me. Who said you could uh, speak? The fucking. <sighs> <laughs> and you're gone like a fart in the fucking wind. What the fuck? My brain is trying to cross at all this. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, oh, we can talk oh, about no, the flat earth back. if you guys want. Is that what you want to? Yeah, do? I would love to. No, I would. I would like to address what I was just called. Like I was called a uh, stupid okay. bitch. No, no, no. I'll, Can we address that I'll, real quick? I'll, like, please. what parameters? Uh, okay. you, hold, on, hold on a minute. If you were offended by anything that I, I that I had said, I, I was simply saying you. Oh, you, you okay. So just because uh, you Alex, use big words means that I shouldn't be offended or frustrated. Alex, we have to respect so I, you as a man. I respect y'all for y'all's opinions. I think that right, it's man. it was a little shitty for y'all to just jump in and automatically, you know. I don't think me. I apologize. Go after all. someone and be. Okay, okay. My frustration was that y'all just immediately go off on somebody instead of like allowing him to answer your questions. You cut him off right before he finishes answering. You you obviously don't have like the, the wherewithal to listen when you ask a question. So it's it's just a bit frustrating to be honest. And I don't have quote unquote toxic femininity as you put it. Give it all, um, Sarah. You're demo- uh, now you're demonstrating. Okay, like Fortunately, it was a joke. We've, 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 we've transgressed. All right, but let's oh, just go. Let's oh, okay. go to the question. So it's a joke now. It's time to stop. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you guys want to debate the flat Earth? Is that what you want to do? I think that if you believe in flat Earth, you're a fucking idiot. That's well, crazy. that's just an ad. I think we are all idiots for talking to oh, 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 oh. That is a cute claim. Uh, do you have any refutation? Would you like to debate it? Uh, no, I don't want to debate it. There's no oh, reason oh, to convenient. debate it. Oh, convenient. Book. Okay. So, uh, actually, this is actually the definition uh, of ignorance. Thanks for coming back, by the way. It's death that can take a while sometimes. Well, what happens, Chris, it primarily is what we observe is just people appealing to authority, NASA, and just yeah. appealing to consensus what the majority yeah, of people so, think. I mean, there's no actual empirical evidence or science that proves their model. I mean, so, so this is, is why they're going to literally, There's literally empirical data that Well, suggests. great. Give me one piece. Give me your okay. strongest piece. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. The highest okay. form of ignorance wait, 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 is rejecting wait, wait, wait. something you don't know anything you're about. Telling me, you're telling me that 67,000 NASA employees... Well, hold on. That's not empirical evidence. As I had said in the beginning, that we're just appealing to authority. So you don't observe state. curvature. You don't observe spin. The sun and moon are directly overhead. They appear. The constellations never change. Our atmosphere would get sucked out into space if it was next to a vacuum. And the rainbow is the same shape of the dome you live under. So our yep. whole model observes the flat earth yeah so do you have one piece of evidence that would entail the round earth model presumably right because that's all we're looking for i am we're all open and, to changing our minds we just want to see some evidence for this position 
Yeah, and FYI, uh, this guy's a Freemason. At the 33rd degree, they learn that the Earth is flat, but he's a very low rank, I can tell. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I just want to say, I don't take a side with the whole flat or globe. Like, either side, there is not <coughs> enough to no, support. On YouTube. Right, I don't give a shit what Nessa I said. I, I, don't don't wow. I actually the point disagree. Is, the evidence is very one-sided. Okay. okay, okay. So the point is, is that all of the evidence right now that we can observe points us in one direction, which is the flat earth model. Now, however, if there is some evidence that you can present that would logically entail or increase the probability of having a round earth model, we would like yeah. to present it. We are sweet. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Hang on, go the chat. He, he ran away. Uh, uh, no, I didn't run away. My phone died. Oh, there you are. Okay, good. I came back on my computer. Okay, I actually have a good uh, logical argument here. You're telling me mm -hmm. that 67,000 NASA yeah. employees are all lying that we never went to the moon, we never saw the Earth. Okay, mm. hold on a minute. So you have to understand with NASA, right? Not all of NASA uh, is aware about this. Only the people who are actually doing the missions, the people who are actually um, like working with the International Space Station, the ones who are actually working with the rocket launches. So no, not all 60,000 employees are aware of uh, this being. Uh, are are you familiar with compartmentalization? Yes, I'm familiar. Okay, so basically not everyone knows that they're lying. They're just doing their, uh, their job. They don't know the bigger picture. Gotcha. How about the astronauts that have gone up into space and have watched the Earth rotate? Okay, by the way, you can see the entire Earth rotate all the way around 16 times a day from the International Space Station. Why isn't it getting pulled down by the gravity of the Earth? It is. It's in a perpetual state of free fall. So why isn't it around the Earth? the Earth? Why are we it's not getting pulled into the sun? Because it is falling around the Earth and its accelerated velocity is at just the high enough point that it can keep falling around. Is it within the Earth's gravitational attraction? Yes, it is. Then why is it not getting pulled to the Earth? Again, because acceleration is fast enough to be able to maintain the escape velocity that it is at, which is 17,500 miles an hour, which is able to keep a maintained position it, we call it uh, low Earth orbit, and it is able to stay in a circle going around the Earth oh, convenient. 16 uh, times why, a day. Why are we not getting pulled into the sun? Is Why isn't the moon getting pulled into the Earth if gravity is the real thing? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. The entire Milky Way galaxy is spinning. All right. Within that, we have the solar system itself, which is also spinning. Okay? That spinning keeps it from, it keeps the velocity high enough so that things don't fall into each other. We're gonna over, but if you look at the time of over billions of years, things do collide. Do you have any evidence, observational evidence, that this is true? Any evidence that we're spinning currently? Yeah, I don't feel no spin to you, Chris. <laughs> Yeah. No, you're not. Oh it might be God. from the alcohol. I'm just kidding. Well, they say we're spinning a thousand miles per hour at the equator. So. Yeah. So, do you have any observational evidence? You are spinning right now. Not only that, we're also on an elliptical on, orbit, him, which means we're slowing answer. down and speeding up. Yeah, yeah. Let him answer. So, uh, do you have any observational evidence that we're currently spinning? Yeah, the astronauts from space. How do you know that? Measured real? it. But that's not observational. That? I'm because not that's astronaut. literally real. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> that's like, real. So this is. That's like saying. That's like saying. How do you know the sun is fucking shining? That's crazy. I actually well, observe, we observe the sun. I, hey, listen. yeah, we observe the. Oh my God, Twinkie, Twinkie! So, if an astronaut please... went up into space and he said the Earth was flat and wasn't rotating, would you believe him? So, so Twinkie, actually, that's a good point, Jacob. Um, so Twinkie, I actually posted in the trans <laughs> transmission text real quick. Uh, this is actually what your sun looks like, and it's actually relatively close because the sun rays are all coming down on different angles. If the sun was bigger than the Earth, all the sun rays would be parallel. The sun has to be close, and that's why it appears to be the same size as the moon. And also, they're lights. The moon and, and sun are both lights, as the Bible describes, and they're shining directly above the Earth. And they're the same size, same distance. And you never see the back of the moon, because it's not round. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same, same thing with the other planets. The, yeah, the moon, or they just appear to be circular luminaries. The reason why the moon, we don't see the back of the moon is because the moon is what we refer to as tidally locked. Oh, convenient. Not convenient. True. <laughs> do you believe the moon is? Do, do you the moon? <laughs> like, uh, like do you believe the reflection? Ideas. Right. He postulated. 
Hold on. Do you believe that the reflection of the moon uh, is caused by the sun? Or do you believe that's a reflection or is it self-illuminating? It's a reflection. So why can we see it during the daytime if the light is hitting the back of the moon? Be- because light is still reflecting on it. You- it's Jesus hitting the back. Right. <laughs> You realize you realize that the moon is ninety three million miles away from the sun. That's the problem. Right? The, yeah, why That's does not it appear the, to be the same size in the sky? What, what do you What do you mean appear to be the same size? Yeah, why, why can I say that the moon was ninety three million miles away I would, and the sun was close? The oh my god! Okay, how would you be able to tell the difference? Because you can measure it. Okay, how do you measure that the sun is millions of miles away and the moon is closer? I, I oh my god I don't even uh, I, I don't quite know on that one exactly how that's it's done, that's fine. It's I, don't, done I don't expect it's you to done know. normally within astronomical units to oh, my understanding okay. my claim hold on my claim is that all your evidence is coming from one source and we don't observe anything that they tell us so how do we know well, they're telling us the truth well uh, it's multiple nations that have done this too exactly I agree multiple nations but we also have an international space station that is involved in every country not only that we have an Antarctic treaty that's also involved in every country so if well, it's, it's in it's, it's 60 countries spot, yeah okay if 54 spot, to be that means every country oh, okay. has to be involved this has, this has to be a worldwide conspiracy it's oh, okay. at this point gentlemen I don't think the debate is going to be productive anymore this because I don't think be productive I'm not going to change your mind and you're probably not going to no I can almost goddamn guarantee you're not going to change my mind well, that's not stubborn. shocking. Well, you're very no, it's irrational. Not because, no, I'm, I am, no, I'm not being irrational. I, I, I'm just like, it's like trying to uh, educate an amoeba. That's great. So can you provide me one evidence that we're on a spinning ball currently? Any observational evidence? That I could go test, that I could go look at, that I could go. You absolutely can test it. You can go ahead and put some sticks out. Okay, and go a mile down the road and put another stick out and then measure the light. Okay, so you're saying that the sun rays are coming down on different angles? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, of course they are. That's great. But on the round earth, all the sun rays would be parallel. Do you agree to that? Because the sun would be bigger than the earth? That's not parallel. Yes, on your model, all the sun rays would be parallel. Because the sun is bigger than the earth. Do you agree? Uh, no, that's not. No, it wouldn't be perfectly parallel like that because that just is not the way it works. Real life, okay? okay. The yeah, because they, the you're, if they were parallel, they would all be coming from the okay. exact same point of origin from the sun, and they okay. do not. They come from your various model, points of origin throughout the entirety of the sun, the photons. Your model says that all the sun rays are hitting the Earth parallel. And this is actually the experiment you're, you're using here. This is called the Aristosthenes experiment. Basically, they're using sticks and shadows to try to prove the curve and, the, and how big the sun is. But actually, they have to assume that the Earth is curving. They have to assume that the sun is millions of miles away. But actually, as it appears, it's right above the clouds because you can tell the sun rays are coming down in different angles because it's relatively close. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm going to end this now because I am not... Uh... Feel free to listen. No, I'm 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 done. Let's. I'm gonna move down to the other chat. Okay. No, um, okay. All right, y'all too. Take Re- it easy. Repent. Accept Jesus. Thank Repent you. I, I, I already do accept Jesus. Uh, Goodbye. No, you accept Lucifer. Peace out. <laughs> I love guys, Lucifer. I have to add something. Next. Do you guys? Uh, is anyone here in this chat have any <laughs> questions? Anything they want to ask? Comments, concerns, clarifications, regards, and I've added one. Regrets. It happens to be that a lot of people regret things that they've said to me. <laughs> what are you saying, dude? You're a psycho. Uh, I got, I got to say. Yeah, Alex, you're a psycho. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, what's up? Uh, man, what I want to say is they're based. Like, you're, you're link, just, you're link is in my status. Link is in my status. If you're interested in the information right now, it's Wait. being censored. The information is being censored. Wait, I, I have it all in a folder for you. Wait, yeah, you're savage. Me... You're you're, you're base. I just want to say something real quick, Alex. You just look so delectable and adorable. Ew! I hate that. That's crazy. <laughs> you have to turn off this camera. <laughs> I hate that. I can't stay on camera when people say shit like that. It just... <laughs> 
All right, I think this is a. All right, yeah, guys, if you are interested, I can put the link uh, in the transmission text. This is the folder. Uh, if you are interested. Jesus, you just wreck them. Yeah, I mean, I debated this thousands of times. So. I feel like that could have been a better debate. I was being sarcastic. Were, I, see, I but... see. I unload when I debate. Yeah. Uh, the decryption key is in the link. You have to either re-click it if you're accessing on your phone. It's the it's the numbers after the hashtag in the link. It's basically a 30 gigabyte folder full of all the conspiracies, all the information. Basically, everything they're hiding is going to be in this folder, and eventually this is going to get taken down. So this is for you guys. Uh, you know, obviously spread it because it's not going to be up for long. Perceived and, uh, opposition. Interesting. Why would you assume? Uh, okay, what, I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, guys, repent, accept Jesus. Uh, this world has fallen very soon, and the reason why they're hiding the flat earth is because they're trying mm. to hide the evidence of the creator. Flat earth is the scientific proof of God. That's why they're hiding. Yummy. All right, guys, I'm out. Hey, guy, wait, 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 wait. When you wait. talk, Chris, you sound like you're on your way to a meeting, and you have to be out of here, like, immediately, like they're chasing after you, like there's cops behind <laughs> you or something. <laughs> they are after him. <laughs> All right, so what was your question? Me? Yeah, you asked me something. I was about to leave. Yeah, you you de you destroyed that guy, like, bro. You, yeah, you made I, him you made him quit. I kind of I kind of made him bad. give up on life. <laughs> I kind of felt kind of bad, but like he needs it. Like people, need you destroyed him. He thought he thought he thought he was doing something. He thought he was somebody. He thought he was about to win, but nope. Sorry, not today. What I want to know is why sh why is Jesus the true Messiah? Because uh, he is. Because he Don't question down. it. Because he's the revelation from God. Basically, he was predicted in the Old Testament. Uh, he came down and fulfilled every uh, every prophecy, basically. And not only that, he died for our sins, as he claimed. You know. That's hot. All right, I'm out. Peace out. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh,